massive coliseum. What a spectacular view, but it's not the only monumental structure in the vicinity. We're standing on the remains of the gigantic, three acre in size, Temple of Venus and Roma. Pretty much covers over the entire Dahlia Hill. The gigantic remains of the Temple of Venus and Rome. That's built by Maxentius on the Velia Hill. The Colosseum wasn't the only thing in this neighborhood that was massive. Here I'm standing on the Velia Hill on the podium of the Temple of Venus and Rome, last built by Maxentius, first built by Hadrian. The remains are spectacular, enormous. This row of columns was for a portico that flanked the side of the temple, much smaller than the massive central colonnade. And we look toward here, the apse, there's another apse right behind it. Each apse contained a cult statue of a deity, Venus and Rome. Double app system for the temple. On the side facing the forum, you had Roma. On this side here, you would have had a seated figure of Venus. So Venus and Roma, Amor, goddess of love, spelled backwards, is Roma. This is built by Hadrian in the second century AD. It's going to be rebuilt after damage, probably from a fire, by Maxentius, and he's going to replace the wooden structure for the roofing system with vaults of concrete and it was actually then covered over with gilded bronze roof tiles that aren't removed until the 7th century AD. By the 8th century AD, on the other side in particular, you're gonna have the creation of a church, San Francesco Romana, and a convent.